I was very happy to know about this Hunger Free Day concept. Very nice to speak few words about Hunger Free Day. We all know that man is by nature a social animal. He who lives without society must be either a beast or God. We seek the companionship as a part of our well-being. We learn and we develop also through the filter of our experiences in our day-to-day -day life. These connections that we have in the society are not only important for our existence or for our survival, but also for our happiness and also to reach our goal or to succeed in our life. We always build an image of ourselves through our experience with the people who are around us. So a healthy sense of personal worth is always very, very essential. If we feel we are of very little value or if we don't like ourselves, it is difficult to maintain this balance throughout our life. To maintain that balance throughout our life, we need to have that satisfaction. We need to, first of all, love ourselves. Only when we are able to love ourselves, we'll be able to love others. A person who feels like a nobody will contribute nothing, or maybe we can say very little to one's life or even to the society. We human beings need to have all these needs met. That is, maybe we have the need to be loved, to be appreciated, to be admired, to be recognized, to be involved, to be respected, and also to have the experience of success in our life. But do you think all of us achieve this in our life? No, very many times we may not be able to achieve these things in our life, not only because of the obstacles in the society, maybe because there may be obstacles within the person. I may not feel confident about myself. I may not feel good about myself. So we need to feel good about ourselves, confident about ourselves. And then once we are confident, we can relate very well to the society and we can contribute to the society and society can contribute a lot for our development. We all know we have this need for survival. We have this need for belonging, attachment, to seek pleasure and to avoid unpleasant things. And we need autonomy. We need a sense of fulfillment. And more than that, we all have the need to be at peace, to have that peace within. Only when there is peace within, there will be peace outside in the society. And also more than that, also we need to have the recreational companionship. That's why we need people around us. We need to live together as fellow human beings. Without these, we may feel hurt. We may be frustrated or even we may be depressed. So let us remember one message, one call, one person or one pat on the back, one appreciation, one recognition can change our mood. It may change our work and it may change our career and it may change our future. So by doing that, we can bring about changes in the society. Let us start this from ourselves. The change should start from within. Only then the change takes place outside in the society. I am a strong believer that the change should be within me first, then the changes take place in the society. Thank you very much. Madam, what you say right now, it will touch anybody's heart, particularly the youth. You know, this youth are age yeah. of discovery yeah. and dreams. They always see the dreams. They want to discover. They want to explore. The only problem in our society is that we do not know how to guide them. Or rather, they do not know how to you know, present themselves properly. But they are having a lot of power within. If it is channelized properly, under some mentorship, persons like you and others, if they join hands and we mentor them properly, they can do miracles for the society, as you have rightly said. 
So this is basically, we are working for a uh, non-profit organization called Global Youth Therapy Activity Net Network, wherein we want to invite more and more youth to join for a societal cause. And we are more focused on the development of the villages in our country. We know that if the villages in our country is almost like 6.7 lakh villages in our country are there, are properly, the youth over there are properly empowered, then the country will go for a rapid strides, right? The COVID has played as a great lever at this time. Now, everyone, the, the economists, the great thinkers, even the government, they are trying to focus on the village centric activity more than the urban centric activities. So it is an opportunity now for us, the countrymen, to focus our attention on the youth development. We need to invest more on the youth today so that tomorrow the country will get benefited out of it. So I think the way you have started a discussion, more than the materialistic needs, the psychological needs of the youth are need to be fulfilled. And then only see we can see a sea change in the mindset of the youth who can really contribute very good for the nation's development. 